welcome to Nibbling with the Neighbors. Come on in and have a bite. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the first episode of Nibbling with the Neighbors. And today I'm going to do a chicken, a whole chicken, in the crock pot. So my ingredients is a whole chicken, zucchini, carrots, mushrooms, onion, red skin potatoes, and natural goodness chicken broth 100% fat free no MSG added, 33% less sodium chicken broth. So, I'm going to prepare all of this and put it into the crock pot. And I will be cooking over here today. First of all, you bring your water to a boil. And then you add your top ramen. What the heck are you doing in my kitchen? Cooking my uh, classic... Ramen. This is for real cookers. This is a real cooking show. How many people want to see Kevin cook his world famous top ramen? Let me know. We could put that in next week's episode. Can you turn me on since I already started? Want me to get some Reese's? <laughs> it's already on. Just for you, April. <laughs> okay, so the very first thing you want to do is you want to take your chicken. And you want to clean out all the stuff from inside. And you want to wash your chicken without soap and water. You just want to wash it thoroughly. And then you put your chicken rah, in your crock pot. Give it a little pat for good measure. Okay, and then what I do is I take a little bit of butter or margarine. And I take one of my little spatulas. And I kind of just spread it onto the chicken itself. That's just to make the skin get a little crispier. There's some other things you can also add to your chicken dish. Garlic powder. Just sprinkle a little bit of that over top of the chicken. Just to give the skin a little bit of flavor. And we all love garlic and onion in this house, so... A little bit of onion powder. And just a little bit of basil leaves. I'm going to take one of my zucchinis and I'm going to cut the edges off of the zucchini and I'm going to wash the zucchini really well and then I'm going to slice the zucchini. I'm going to leave the skins on because it gives you more nutrients that way and just I wish I could slice like Josh from Meet the Presleys. He's a professional chef so he knows how to do all that stuff really fast. If you don't subscribe to them, you really should go subscribe to them because they put up awesome recipes. I'm just doing this once a week. They do it all the time. And then you're just going to put the zucchini in the pot with the chicken, the crock pot, that is. And then I've already peeled my carrots, and I like to use fresh carrots. Chop off both ends and peel them. And then you're just going to slice them in small pieces as well. Okay, so I cut my carrots all up. And then I'm just going to add those to the top of the crock pot as well. Then I'm going to open my package of mushrooms. And of course, you know, you always have to wash out off mushrooms because they always come with dirt on them. And once I'm done with that, I still don't just dump these in there because sometimes there's always stems in here that just 
look really dirty and yucky to me, so I don't use them. Okay, so I'm adding everything to the crock pot right now, and it does not look like it's going to hold any of my red skin potatoes. So I will probably either make boiled potatoes or mashed potatoes later to go with dinner. So right now I'm going to cut up my onion because that's the only thing left. So I'm just going to chop up my onion and add that to it. Okay, so there's my onion all pulled apart. And again, I'm just going to scatter that all around on top of everything else that's in the crock pot right now. And the last thing you do is you're going to add your um, chicken broth over top of everything. So I'm going to open this and pour this over top and then I'll bring the camera up close so you guys can see everything. Okay, so here is what we have. You have a chicken buried under there with mushroom, onions, mushrooms, carrots, and zucchini in there somewhere. There's a zucchini right there. And then there's a chicken under there. And the broth, chicken broth in there as well. So this is a pretty healthy meal. Um, nothing in here is really high in fat. We use the, um, I can't believe it's not butter, which is low in fat and sodium. And lots of vegetables that are healthy for you. And the low sodium, low fat chicken broth. So that is all healthy. So now I'm going to set my timer to cook for, uh, it's one o'clock, so let's cook it for six hours. Oof. And we're going to cover that up. And we're just going to let it cook. So welcome back to Nibbling with the Neighbors. Our dead bird crock pot is done. Take the lid off. You sure that's not somebody's head in there? Huh? <laughs> it looks like it's... No? you got to wait to find out. Alright, the All big right. reveal. Now there's a good chance when you pull the dead bird out. Then it'll fall apart. Yeah. Yeah, it's the top of somebody's head. Your chicken will fall apart. Fall apart. But that's okay. That just means it's nice and juicy. Juicy. But you have to then be careful when you're Dishing out your other fixins that you don't get bones. Bones. Now you can also do this recipe with chicken breasts or chicken thighs without bones and stuff like that. And sometimes I do that. And then you can also, there's another recipe which I'll show you in another Nibbling with the Neighbors vlog. Another chicken crock pot recipe with some different ingredients. But this is what we have for now. We're going to dish this out. And I did not make any potatoes to go with it. We figure enough vegetables and some chicken is just going to be perfect for dinner this evening. So once we dish it out and sit down, we'll let you know how it tastes. The nibbling begins. Yeah. Okay, so Kevin just salted his dish because he salts everything. Ah. And he's about to take the first nibble. <laughs> Brains! <laughs> How's the chicken, dear? Good. Gotta try your veggies. Not just the mushrooms. Try the zucchini and mu and carrots. You gotta try them. Why? Cause. Cause why? Cause you might like the taste of the way it's all mixed in. Yummy. Okay. She's going in. I got zucchini since Kevin won't try his. Mmm. Mm. Try carrot and mushroom. Mmm. Ruby man. Oh. Don't want to hit you too hard. First official 
dish of nibbling with the neighbors. Yay. One thumb up or two? Uh, oh, there's three. <laughs> <coughs> this is Valerie from Nibbling with the Neighbors. Till next Thursday. Nibbling on the neighbors? Nibbling with the oh, neighbors. All right. You're messing up my outro, okay? <laughs> this is Valerie from Nibbling with the Neighbors. See you next Thursday.